up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now this video is actually inspired by a lot of the members of brandmannetwork.com because Man, I'll be on calls with artists and, you know, next thing you know, you see them pick up like a newborn baby right here. Or I'll get an email like, yo, I can't do this week. I actually am having a baby right now. Or I'm, I'm riding in the car, hear kids in the back. Or they will be on the call, like the cooking for the kids. So, and so it just made me think about family, right? Just building with a family in mind. And, and it's something that I've been going through uh, for a while now, but it's, it's gotten even more serious for me lately. So from that sense, I'm always feeling the artists when I see them because they're serious about it. They're making sure they get their work done, but they still got to do what they have to do when it comes to their family, especially when it comes to the kids. And to me, it's not enough to just say, you know what, no matter what I got going on in my business, family matters more than me. So I'm just going to drop everything going on with business. If family is necessary, it takes a lot more than that personal mentality and you feeling that way personally to actually run this ship successfully. How do I know that? Well, I had to learn it myself and it wasn't that easy, not personally for me to make that adjustment. So here are three tips that I've personally like learned and started to apply and actually seen real benefit from that I think will be helpful for others as well. Number one, you need to share your vision. We already know that we need to have a vision for whatever we're doing, right? Where we're going, that's gonna help in business in general, but you need to make sure you actually share that with your family. And when I say share the vision, I mean the plan as well, right? Share it with the, with the people who matter. Even kids, they can understand certain things, like if you tell them, but at least share the vision of where you wanna go and the plan on how you wanna get there. Because it, when you're not working for somebody, right? It's, it's sometimes unclear how you're going to get to where you, you're going to say. And we're so used to people saying so many things that they're going to do this, they're going to do that and not doing it, not following up. Sometimes people don't necessarily even take you seriously when you say you're going to do it or when you say that you're working on something they don't know and they don't see the work. And it's not this traditional thing that they're familiar with. It needs to be clarified in just a true laid out plan and that needs to be communicated to them. Which brings me to number two, talk business with the family. And what do I mean by that? Well, one, like one thing that I did, especially in the beginning was I felt like, you know, when I'm at work, right, I'm working so hard and I'm, I'm deep in this energy and I know it's taking away a lot from everything else, right? When I'm spending this time, Family doesn't get this from me. So whenever I actually got a chance to be around family, right, and the people I cared about, then I would flip the switch completely. I wouldn't even talk about it. And I thought, you know, that was a positive thing, right? They don't want to hear about this. They already are losing me to this thing, so they don't want to hear about this. But what I found is that just leaves them in the dark, right? And over time, there continues to be this disconnect with, with this thing that's apparently a huge part of your life. So now they don't know what to do with that, right? They can't help you even if they would like to. And at the same time, you feel this disconnect of lack of understanding, right? And, and you being the person setting off on this vision, you being the person who's working on, on this, you're the leader in that area. You have to take responsibility for the fact that your vision is not communicated, right? People don't understand you just like any employee or somebody who's on your team. Any lack of understanding is your fault. You have to over communicate. I know for a lot of y'all artists, that's not easy. And I know for a lot of, of y'all managers, it might be a little bit more easier, but still it's easy to forget. So keep this in mind, over communicate, over communicate, over communicate. The more they know, the more they understand about your business and the more they're able to see that, the easier it'll be for you to even be able to make certain decisions without feeling guilty because you'll be able to see how they're able to help you and be on board with whatever decision that is. And tip number three, Put your family on a calendar. I know it might sound weird, it might feel weird. As a matter of fact, like a few years ago, when my girl first found out she was on my calendar, it didn't really go too well at first. She felt kind of weird about it. But over time, she realized that was 
how seriously I took the relationship where at first it just felt like you don't value the time or you don't just make the decision without it being on your calendar it felt like more business transactional, which I can understand. But the relevance of this is just because when you know you have things going on in business, you're building things, you know, as an artist, you got to make certain moves. And especially when this is your extra time, right? This is, might not even be your main job. This is your extra time and things can fall by the wayside easily. So I had to get to the point, as many of you will or probably already are, where if it's not on the calendar, then I'm probably not going to do it. Right. I, I only am focusing on executing these things that are listed here because I can't just start hopping off doing these random things that just keep popping up. I need to stay on a plan, stay on some sort of regimen. And another benefit of that is just the fact that when you are working for yourself, right, or doing something for yourself, once again, it might not be your main job. It could be your side job that you're working on becoming your main job as an artist, as a producer, engineer, whatever that is. People a lot of times feel like, yo, you know, you got your own schedule. So why are you working so much? Or you can come do this or you can come pick me up or or you can do whatever if because they feel like, you know, you're an entrepreneur. This is your business. You can take whatever time. That's kind of what we always here when we are in the system of just working right that traditional system we hear entrepreneurship freedom however a lot of times it's hard to understand and really calibrate the fact that at the beginning especially it's kind of the opposite you have to work a lot more because when you stop everything stops where in a traditional job situation you leave yeah, they might be mad at you or something like that. Your boss might not like the fact that you took off or they could be completely fine with it, but the business doesn't shut down, right? Because you're not in that type of position. You're not in that level of a position. As a matter of fact, a lot of these companies, the CEO can leave and just be gone and maybe even the CEO could die or something like that, but the business is already set forth pretty much 10 times out of 10 if your business is just starting out, it's not in a place like that. So keeping that calendar right and letting people know that this is your calendar even sharing that calendar is something that could be extremely helpful to not only you to keep you on track and to keep you organized and in a state of execution it can also be helpful for keeping a level of clarity with those people who are necessary in your life to actually be able to be on board and support you without having to have as much struggle. There's always going to be struggles. Of course, we know that there's always going to be those struggles. But those three things have helped me out personally. There's some other things in mind that I'm I'm working on. I'm, I'm working to develop. I'll do another video update sometime after I feel like I've seen personal results from that as well. That's how I like to do pretty much a lot of these videos. So shout out to y'all and brandmannetwork.com who are hustling, doing y'all thing. Y'all really did truly inspire this video. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Out. those of y'all who get on the call with, with kids in your arms and and or, or are cooking and got kids yelling at you left and right i salute you i salute you as always this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself if you like this video go ahead the like button if you like it might as well share it. and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button